के Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. See me, see me, see me. <laughs> see the way I've just feeling myself, you know, just enjoying my life. <laughs> welcome back, guys. Please, if you are new to this channel, you're highly welcome. Please take a moment, click on the subscribe button so you stay connected and turn on post notification so you won't miss any miss our new videos. <laughs> welcome back, guys. Welcome back. In today's video, we are at the orphanage home. So guys, I say we because it's not just me alone. We are Vicious Ladies. Uh, Vicious Ladies is a forum, it's an organization. And today's our anniversary. We decided to come and celebrate with these children to okay, mark the grand finale of Children's Week. Okay, so, enjoy yourself, okay? Please give this video a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up, share this video to friends and family. Alright guys, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, we are here, as you can see the environment, we are here at um, Good News Orphanage Home. We came to see these children, we came to share with them in this season of Children's Day week, we came to celebrate with the children and wish them good it's been a while it's been a very wonderful place it's been a good place it's an orphanage home it's a nice place to visit the virtuous ladies are here to visit the good news orphanage home with a token that we have we say as they receive the god almighty bless them and bless us too in jesus name Amen. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. We are virtuous ladies. We want to we came to visit you people, you guys. We love what we are seeing here. We love what the teachers and everyone are that are doing great job here. We so appreciate each and every one of you for the privilege giving to us to come and 
see you people to talk with you and to give you the token that we have. We say, Amen. 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 We are so grateful. We are so grateful to be part of you to share in your joy. This 26 marks us two years in existence. It's a group. So we decided to say that we come and see our joy us here. So we are so grateful to be part of you people. We are so glad, we are so, our heart is filled with joy that this day we have been planning it and God has made it to come to pass. We are so grateful. We say, may the Lord bless you people in Jesus' name. And I am Auntie Rose We are so glad to be in your presence. Oh, beautiful girl. Give me a high five. Put your head down, read your books, channel your dreams, have a dream for yourself. Channel it towards that thing you want to become, and definitely you will become. Do you understand that? Okay? That you are in the opening doesn't mean that you are different from people outside there. No! If you want to be a president, you can be. If you want to be a doctor, you can be. If there is anyone that is modeling you that you want to look up to, or you're looking up to and you wish to become, I want to tell you that you can become. Just make up your mind that nothing is going to stop you from becoming that which you want to become. And by the grace of God, definitely you will become. Amen. You will provide for you. You will never lack. You will never fall through. And you may not die before your time. Amen. Amen. The Lord will continue to rest upon you for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Precious ladies, greater heights, precious ladies. Hello, children. I'm Christy. My name is Christy. Um, I have two words for you people good morals, good lifestyle, good attitude. Whenever so you find yourself, anything you do, wherever you are, make sure you portray good attitude. It will open doors for you. Do you know what? In the public, people watch you. You can, you can gain favor from someone that is just watching you in the public, they don't even know you. And the person will ask someone, oh, who is that child, or oh, who is this person? Please let me see this person. Why? Because what the action you just portray, you just display a good attitude. And the person fall in love with your, everything about your lifestyle. In fact, that's how you behave in the public. Someone will say, wow, I bless the mother that gave birth to you because you have a group. So in all the teachings that you are, you are getting, when you go out there, display it, okay? Don't just listen in the class. When you go out there, display it. Show the world that you have been well-groomed, well-taught, and well-nurtured. I love you. God bless you all. Hello, children. Hello, auntie. Clap one, clap two, clap three. That's very good. I'm so delighted to see all of you today. Thank you very much. My name is Auntie Mercy. My sisters have already said everything. And what I want to add to what they said is the good character, the good behavior, and what we call um, concentration and focus. Have concentration in whatever you are doing. You need to concentrate on your studies. Don't let anything distract you. Nothing should distract you in life. What did I say? Nothing should distract you in life. Please repeat after me. Nothing should distract me. Just personalize it. That's very good. Please don't let anything distract you in life. Have focus. I'm very sure you all have something you want to become in life, right? Some of you want to become a doctor, a medical doctor, a surgeon, a dentist, a pastor. Oh. I love that. You want to become what? An engineer, a nurse, a medical doctor. Yes. We all have careers. We all have what we want, what we want to portray in life. And we all have a career. But please, do you know what, what, what will happen? How you will become that thing? Do you think you can just sit down and become a medical doctor? Do you think you can just sit down and become a pastor? You cannot. If you don't concentrate, 
concentrate on your book, focus on your book, read very well. Before the teacher says, ah, you even tell the teacher, you, in fact, you'll be more than the teacher. Because any teacher that is teaching you today, the teacher wants you to be better than he, him or her in the future. And make your dreams come true in just like Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How are you? As you're growing up, you have to focus on the word of God. You have to use God as the main thing in your life. Mm. You have to, in all your big dreams, whatever that you plan to be, whatever that you are, you are, you are pushing yourself, you cannot achieve that without God. So if you can do it, you go to church, right? Yes. You have to take God serious. In your academic, you invest God. You, every day of your life, you ask for God's wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Grace. It's only God that can lead you through. It's only God that can make that your big dream to come true. He came into this world with a purpose. And there is a purpose why God brought us into this world. And you can only achieve it. You can only realize it through the word of God. The word of God always in your life, always pray that God should guide you in every step that you will take. Always pray that God will leave you in that path which only Him has already ordained for you. anniversary this, this is the after, after after party, after party. Uh, yes <laughs> we are going for the party now okay guys so come with us as we, as we enjoy ourselves with our casserole <laughs> oh i'm not saying well as we enjoy ourselves with our chicken casserole <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. 
Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>